Hey guys, my name is Don and you're watching my channel Don Astronomy. It's uh, middle of winter, it's um, almost a solstice. I uh, haven't posted for a while, I've been busy with life um, in general and work and all those things. Um, so it's been a while since I've done my last video and I've had a couple of problems. I had one problem with ants getting into my observatory and uh, that was a lot of fun. The uh, this video is about the third part of my automation process and I'm going to be featuring these little ultrasonic sensors and what I want to do with these ultrasonic sensors is use them to uh, control my observatory um, via my Arduino microprocessor. Uh, what's going to happen is these have got a really narrow field of view of about 8 degrees and I've got some little cones I'm going to extend on these as well and they're going to go around the, um, the outside of my corrector plate essentially on the telescope and they're going to be tr shooting through the window. The idea is to have the sensors work in a way that if the way these ultrasonic sensors work is they emit a very high frequency and they listen for that frequency to come back. They're often used to detect the distance of objects but these ones also have a switch mode. Um, and I had to also wait for a while for these to come into the country, which is another reason it took quite a while to do. Now with the switch mode, it means that I can set a distance for this and if something comes onto its path, it will turn on or trigger a high-low um, signal back to my Arduino, which I can then use for programming. And the idea is to get three of these around my telescope, so no matter what way my telescope moves, um, as it tries to shoot through the window, if one of the detectors sees the outside of the shutter, um, it will hopefully tell with the software, once I write the code, to move the roof into that position uh, where the telescope is. Um, and so, in theory, if it's tracking an object and then that uh, telescope gets too close to the hatch on the, on the roof of the observatory, then the motor will cut in because the sensor will say, hey, I've got an object in front of me and we'll move the sensor. And when all three sensors can't see anything again, it'll stop the motor. So that's the idea and that's what I'm hoping is going to happen. What I have is a, a little black plastic box which is going to mount um, under my telescope and inside this I intend to got some bits and pieces. So these are the ultrasonic sensors that I was talking to you about and I've got three of these. So I need to wire these up because there's five pins so I've bought some kind of five pin plugs which I'll kind of wire those to the end of um, probably using this cable though and in this box I have also three of the chassis mount um, male versions of the same thing uh, which I may put in here the three of them for each sensor I will also um, probably put either the male or the female version of this computer style plug uh, in here and then that will end up running back via this cable or another cable back to my Arduino um, where my motor controller is and then I'll, I've also got somewhere a little DC um, chassis mount socket so it'll, these are also 12 volts which makes it ideal so I can power these from my Pegasus Astro power box and I have to mount this I'm thinking of mounting this on I've got two bits of aluminium here one flat piece that's going to mount to that with this rod I'm hoping to drill a few big holes in here and bend it in a way that this rod can go between the two of them so I can push this and slide it up and down and it will stay in place. Also at the other end on my telescope um, I will do a similar thing. I'll have a hole, a large hole in each end here and it will go up like a V so that the rod can go in it. So as I push them together and slide this in and let it go it'll it'll stay so it'll, I'll be able to adjust it telescopically with any luck.
So essentially that's my um, sensor temporarily mounted to this uh, bracket and that's a bracket that'll go on the front of the telescope like so. Um, and I've also made these little cones to extend the field of view in here just so it's not picking anything up from out here. It just gives it more chance of focusing that beam outside this hatch. And uh, the idea is so uh, that this rod it will attach to the rod and it'll basically stay and I can move it wherever I want. And the same with the telescope and where it sits on the correct plate. Um, that's not going anywhere. We'll see how that works. Um, so as it turned out, I did need that um, extra switch. So I'm glad I did put that in. So basically this is so I can turn the sensors or those ultrasonic sensors off when I don't need them. Is that not just the most ridiculous thing you've ever seen in your life? Probably is. Okay, so I've successfully managed to uh, write all the code for the sensors and to have them integrated with the Arduino um, on the microprocessor. So now when something comes in its path, it will move the motor. And that works for all three sensors. So the idea now is to have it and hopefully wherever the telescope slews, if the telescope, if these sensors detect um, an object, which in this case is the roof in front of it, and my hand obviously, uh, it will move. I've also put these little baffles on here just to help reflect the sound back give it a bit of an extra chance. Okay so I've got Stellarium up. Um, what I will do is I'm going to just put it into night mode now and to get my bearings I will select my grid. So we'll probably start tracking something. There's the south. So we might start tracking something out here. Um, maybe that variable star. So what's going to happen is um, I'll slew that to that using Stellarium and the telescope should slew to that star. Hopefully the roof will follow it. Um, now once, uh, once it's got to, the roof has got to where the telescope is, I will switch the direction um, of the roof's motors so that it tracks in the right direction because we're tracking through the southern hemisphere. And then we'll simulate, I'll simulate uh, the telescope doing a swoop across the night following that star and hopefully the roof will follow. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll just now reverse the direction of the motor. That's right. And now I'm going to pretend that that's slewing and see how we go. Oop, wrong way. Yeah. 
That'll be my... So, so far, so good. Okay, and we'll probably we'll do a meridian flip at this stage. Okay. So now we'll keep tracking. So I'm pretty happy with how that's going. Now I'm probably getting too low on the horizon now. Yep, the bottom sensor is um, not picking it up anyway. Speed that up. Park, telescope. Um, so I'm pretty happy with that, it's not perfect and I do have quite a, a way to go and, so, and a lot of teething problems. Just trying to smooth out my operation with the code. I wanted to eventually um, pseudo a target faster so the motor, the roof motor uses its full speed to get there and then when it's tracking it uses a slower speed. Um, there's a lot of little things like that I've got to um, figure out and also the cones over here. Um, I need to get those to be a bit more accurate. Um, but I'm really confident that I can do it. And it's been a, a, a big learning curve for me. And um, I eventually want to um, not have to use sensors at all and I will go down that path. I will end up probably buying some proprietary software that um, will use an encoder wheel and I won't have to use sensors and it should follow it using software. So that's my goal. But for now, um, I might use some software, even Leavestone or something like that could be a good option, but there, there are proprietary software out there I can use and adapt it to suit the microprocessor and the controller, motor controller here. So for now though, um, it's been a fun. I love tinkering with things like this. Um, for those people who um, know my channel, you'll, you'll understand I, I love that kind of stuff. Um, but thanks for coming on this journey with me and thanks for watching guys.